Hello, my name is Vicki McCarty from Calico Patch Designs, and I am going to show you guys how to do one of the stitches that I've used in my Blocks and Blooms block. Um, it is the buttonhole chain stitch. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out making three lazy daisy stitches, and they're going to be pretty loose uh, because it will allow us to pick it up and do a, a chain buttonhole stitch around it, okay? So here's what I've done so far, as you can see. So what I did was to make it a little easier, I drew just a little cross on my wool out of um, Taylor's chalk so that I could keep them even and keep them straight. So the first thing I want to do is make four little lazy daisy stitches. Get myself going here. And I always stitch on a pillow. It, I'm sitting in my comfy cozy, my big recliner at home and it's where I do all my stitching and I always put a pillow in my lap so that I can um, pull the um, stitching closer to me. My Mamma Nelly used to tell me if I put a pillow in my lap I wouldn't slunch you know hunch over with my back and stoop on a stoop while I'm stitching and then she said you know you can stitch all day if you'll just put a pillow in your lap that way you can sit up and not lean down over your stitching. So there's my four lazy daisy stitches and they're pretty loose. You know they're a little looser than I would do if I were doing um, just if I were doing lazy daisy to, just to keep them as just just lazy daisy stitches if that's all I was doing to them. Okay so now what I want to do is come back around and I didn't do a very good job on that lazy daisy I can see right there. But anyway this will give us give us an idea. Let's see if I can pull it back out a little bit. All right, so let me go ahead, see if I can get this to lay down better. All right. Okay. Now, now that I have unthreaded my needle, you'll see. So this is a little needle threader that I use all the time, and I attach it to a lanyard. Um, it's one of my Calico Patch Design lanyards, and I add my favorite scissors to it. So I've got my thread scissors to it, and I keep it around my neck. So then all I have to do is slide that needle threader inside the eye of the needle, lay the thread across that, and ca it catches on the needle threader and pulls it through. And then that's how quick it is to thread your needle. All right, so we're going to go over here, and we're going to start on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up in the corner, in the bottom, in the end of that, lazy daisy and I'm going to take a blanket stitch in there okay see the one little loop right there I hope you can see that you see that Tom then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do another little lazy day or a little blanket stitch okay I'm just taking little tiny blanket stitches you see that and it's making a little chain around my lazy daisy stitch. And I'm just going to go all the way around. See how pretty that's looking? Isn't that cool? All right. I'm going to go all the way to the top and come out. Try to come out right at the point on the top of that stitch. Pull it tight. And then what I want to do is I like to this. I've done this before, and it seems like the the one at the tip end won't anchor down as well as the um, as the rest of them do. Kind of like when you do a corner of any other kind of stitching. So I like to go down and back up and take a little bite there, so that that holds. Take a little stitch that holds that little lazy daisy or that little blanket stitch right in, right down. Then I can come back up. Sorry. I can come back up right where I was and turn it around. All right. And then all I have to do is start and take little tiny, oh, unthread it again, little tiny blanket stitches. Okay. You see how that's, how that's coming out? I hope you can see that. Um, Okay, it may be because I'm doing stuff. I usually leave this lanyard around my neck, and I'm going to tell you that I don't when I do it this way because I actually have the camera and a microphone and everything else on, and what happens is I start I start hitting the microphone with my everything, and it makes a lot of noise. 
So, all right, here we go. Here we go. And I'm going to go on and do this. Just taking little tiny stitches around this. The Lazy Daisy stitch. Okay. Now, when you get here, you're going to want to go back down right beside it. There you go. So, can you see that? How cute that is? Yep. I think it, it just looks like lace. All right. So, when we start this side, we're going to go right on around. We're going to come up. Let's see if I can show you better. Let me get it so I can, you can see it better. I'm going to come up. There's my clock chiming to tell you what time it is. So we're going to come up at the bottom here, the bottom corner of this Lazy Daisy stitch. And we're going to try, we don't, I don't want to overlap these stitches as much if, if, I, if I can keep from it. So I notice I stopped a little before I got to the bottom of that one. You can see I didn't go all the way to the corner to the point of that Lazy Daisy stitch. So now I'm going to go back around. I'm going to take a little, a little uh, blanket stitch holding on you know make sure that you <coughs> capture you know make sure you get that thread of the lazy daisy stitch in it and then we're going to go on around we're going to go out a little wider i didn't i didn't take as big a bite that first time i'll go a little bit wider and take another little bite i'm going to go all the way around till i get to the point again Okay, now notice how this is this is coming together. If you can see this, I'm trying to keep my thread out of the way. Notice it's coming together really pretty. All right, so now looks like the next bite. Well, it won't take me to the point, but let's let's take one more stitch, and then we'll do one at the point. Okay, it's a lot of turning around. I'm sorry. All right. So, and I do not have my wool in a hoop, you can tell. It's just laying on this pillow, and I just, you know, that's how I freehand stitch everything without a hoop. Okay, so this one, I'm going to the point. I'm going to pull it. Okay, so there's the point of that lazy, that would be the tip of that lazy daisy stitch. So, I'm going to go down and take a bite again. Like I said, I want that to make sure it stays down as a point. If I don't take that little stitch, it's almost like it... It wants to flip up on me and I don't I don't want it to do that so now I'm going to come back up on the outside just like I would if I had taken hadn't taken the little stitch to tack it down I'm going to turn my little thing around and here I go again so I'm going to start back in go make sure you get um, the lazy daisy stitch in so you go inside to make your stitch and there's that and it's just making this nice little lacy stitch all the way around Okay. Now, if you want it to be tighter and not have as much, not let as much uh, wool to show through, you just you just pull it really tight. If you don't want to see that little opening right there. Okay. So I'm coming back up here again. So I just want to take one more stitch and then I'm going to tack it down. Okay. All right. So as you can see, there's two petals of my um, buttonhole blanket stitch. I'm sorry, buttonhole chain stitch. Good thing Tom's here keeping me straight. All right, so then what I'm going to do is go all the way around, and I just keep going around. So let's see if I can go ahead. And, let's go ahead and start this. Okay. All right. So Hang on a second, and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what the finished product looks like. You can see that I've used four of the flowers stitched that way in each corner. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty simple stitch. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this has helped you. Um, please follow me on all my social media. Um, Facebook, Instagram, and all that for other tips and tricks. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see whenever I have some other stitches to put out there. I thank you so much, and God bless. Mm -hmm.